Hi there, this is Colleen Francis from Engage Selling Solutions. Thanks for joining me on today's Sales Leader Strategy. The very best reps I know own their territories like they were their own business. And they plan for success in those territories proactively rather than just taking whatever comes their way and crossing their fingers and hoping for success. How do they do this? They look very simply at their quota. Of course, you've got to start with a quota target or a goal. And then they decide how much of that revenue is going to come from their existing customers, either through repeat orders or increased orders, and how much of that is going to come from net new customers. And then they look to determine how many opportunities they need to create for each of those categories and how many leads that they need for each of those categories. And then they determine what the best likelihood or who the best likelihood is to create those opportunities. In other words, which of your clients are most likely to reorder or increase their order and they create account plans and opportunity plans for those. On the net new side, they look at their territory and think, where are my best opportunities coming from? What prospects do I have that are more likely to be converted to leads? And what's my activity plan? What's my pursuit plan and my account plan for getting at those net new opportunities? Once they've developed this plan, what do you think they do next? They execute, yes, but they also measure, monitor, and follow up. They make adjustments on a quarterly basis as they go because they know that the best territory plan is a dynamic territory plan. So use territory planning to help you plan for success. And when you do, you will have one of your best years yet. Thanks so much for joining me on today's sales leader strategy. For more discussions on topics just like this, visit us now at engagedselling.com and stay tuned for our LinkedIn live broadcasts that we do every three to four weeks. Thanks.